Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I present to you the case of the misguided iron... I think this is mid-iron, actually. I'm not sure what the average rank of this. I know there's some mid-iron players in this game. I still yet... <laughs> I still yet to find the fabled... The fabled white whale that is an average elo of iron 4. I know there were some comments in the last iron spectates, which, by the way... Can I just pause the game for a second? Just one second. Can I just thank you all for the incredible support on the last couple of Iron Spectators? I had a lot of doubts about posting them because I, I, I'm not going to go into it. I was just like, you know, I want to. I like to be positive on the channel, and I, I thought it was a little bit mean spirited. People, you quashed, you squashed those those doubts, I, and hopefully everybody is for the better. Even the people that are in these games that they make the stupid mistakes. Thank you so much for the love and support on these videos. Please, though, if you do want to see more, if you're new here and you want to see more stupid iron stuff, my God, please subscribe because I tell you what, I do, I, I do enjoy posting them. But people said, oh, Ross thinks that Iron 4 doesn't exist. I know it exists, but I've yet to see a game with such a tremendously low elo that um, the average elo of the game is Iron 3 or Iron 4. I just don't think it can be done. But regardless, let's get into things right away. The teams, for the most part, both red and blue, look fairly normal. I'd say the most, like, weird pick on the entire, the whole entire board is, uh, uh, T. Draven. So, uh, because he's useless. Uh, well, he's not useless. He's, like, a, kind of, like, a bit of a counter pick towards, like, champions like Ezreal. But they're going for the invade nonetheless. The king of all. Warwick having a flash. Rengar comes out. He thinks he's jumping on the Warwick. Doesn't matter, though. He jumps onto the, uh, Misfortune. Gets two flashes out. But he himself has flashed. Urgot, however... Now listen, I have no clue how he still died. Ah, uh, the Ari actually funneled him down towards... I don't think that was worth it, boys. I really don't... Wait, how did Teemo flash? Oh, he walked into the bush! That's it! Oh, I, I understand. I'm, I'm starting to build that all together now. Uh, that's how he, he flashed. Um... Five flashes for first blood onto Warwick. I'll be honest with you, I don't see the value. Um, I, for real, you've already ruined his, like, beginning leash. You've already ruined his, like, the beginning of his clear. They're still going for it, dude. Fla another, I mean, I guess the more that they pop flashes by sticking around, the better the value. But that being said, Urgot... Dude, you have Ignite. Can you please move your big crab? Took us up to top, please. Wait, is he support? Wait, who's support? What's happening? What's he doing? Get up at to the top lane. Why are you taking CS? Get out of here. Shoo. Be gone, crab. Um, yeah, so bot lane, Teemo, and um, Draven. I don't know. Like, Draven is in a weird spot. He's like kind of in a, like a... You kind of only pick him as like a counter pick to certain AD carries, really. Like maybe like Ezreal or something. But beyond that, like I don't really see a tremendous. Dude, he's hitting with. Are you, are you out of your damn mind? He, he... Wait a minute. Wait. Oh my god, she stole red. <laughs> Oh no! Why did you do that, dude? That was like a combined failure. That was like both of them crossed the streams at the same time. Like Ghostbusters. Is he inting? Is he gonna end now? Is this what this is? Is this what the Warwick does in retaliation for a, a, a very innocent accident? What are you doing, pal? What are you doing? Get out! Get out my house! You don't tell me what to do your toilet seat. I will tell you what to do. Get my house your toilet seat. I'm not going to tell you. What are you saying? Where are you going? Oh, mate. Sorry. Um, I'll be honest. Right. It's a bit, like, dark. I, I mean, to be fair, it makes a lot of sense, right? The guy took four minutes to get to lane. He actually managed to eat him under the tower. How did this go wrong? It's because he's level one. And it's Ghost Darius. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Argot played with fire, and you play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. I don't know what to say about Bowen. Is Warwick gonna leave? I mean, he's as clear still fine. Just go take blue buff, dude. Yeah, you're behind. But, like, I mean, Christ, man. 
you, you're losing so much. Even if you do stay in lane and you steal every CS, your jungle item is going to halt the gold income with which you receive. You are going to get screwed one way or the other, so you might as well be screwed in a fashion with which you earn the most income, okay? Like, you have, you're sitting here, you're getting no XP and no money, so what are you doing? What, what's the game plan here? You get, you're gonna sit there, watch Rengar just take your, I mean, he almost died to Raptors in all fairness, so like, it, I mean, I don't know. Well, I, I don't really know what to do. You, you're now leaving, but you're two levels down on the Rengar. That being said, you probably still win that fight somehow. If he wins this fight, man, it's possible. He's pinging for help. Uh, I mean, that, I, I don't even think he's going to win. Oh, very close. Actually, really close, man. If he was level two, he could have killed him. Um, that Rengar is just playing with fire. Somebody needs to slap him down, man. Punch jump up to get beat down. That's the way of the world. Uh, Botlane, Morgana, Misfortune. I think a pretty decent little, little, little ditty there. Having the, 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 the dark binding into the bullet time is always a nice little combination. Maybe not start with that. Maybe a couple auto attacks, Q first, and then boom, bang it out. But, I mean, realistically, you're in a team mode, so like, that's that's probably going to be like your your gambit. That being said, Draven, bullet time's probably not going to be all that like likely because he's just going to use his E, his stand aside, and he's going to knock you down. Team mode's getting awfully ambitious with that one. I'm actually genuinely surprised that, like, Morgana didn't throw a binding out to try and stop the Teemo in his track because I'm fairly convinced with like terror aggro and Them wailing on him. He probably would have died fairly quickly, but that being said he's just gonna sit there He's just gonna harass. I can't even pretend that I haven't done that before not unranked But I have sat there as Teemo very many times and just done essentially what he's doing right Warwick is actually up to level 3. He's caught up pretty quick Arco is in a bad spot here. I don't see him escaping under any circumstances. Doesn't matter if Darius misses a Q. He's got bleed on him. I mean, he's not got any, he's not got any real bonus health. He's got like 80 off of the uh, the Dorans. Doesn't really matter. That's what we want though. Q coming down from Morgana. Blind to the more the misfortune. Doesn't matter though. The cleanse, which Morgana is apparently running, came out. Don't know what she was cleansing the blind for the the Morgana. Was that the 61 damage auto attack? And then, but then you have to factor in like the, the 39, so that's 28%, so 28% of 61 is reduced, is it, is it a quarter of 15, like 46 or 7 damage? A 40, you cleansed for a 46 damage auto attack? Honestly, either team could absolutely win it, right? Like, I, I think like Argot, he's just going to be a force, like, regardless towards the end of the game. He's just going to press ulti, boom. His job is being carried out fairly well. Once he gets some item on, items on the board, he's got a little bit extra HP for going for the double Dorans, which is going to catch him up, but he's going to like maybe like fall behind a little bit later on because he's going to get that spike from having like a lot of loaded stats on the item, but then obviously he's going to have to sell them or, you know, phase them out of his builds and it becomes like less cost efficient like later down the line you get. But an actual possibly smart decision, uh, like unironically, like going double Dorans when you're a little bit behind, good cost efficient item. Maybe the fight, I mean, he's, he's actually low on mana. So, Argos making some smart plays here. He's making some, like, the best of a bad situation plays, I have to say. Lux, uh, she's holding run. She, she's keeping fairly even. I mean, she, like, Ari got a kill off of, like, Warwick. So, like, it's a bit of an awkward situation. She's pinging, missing. She's doing fine work. Ari's doing fine work. Rengar is doing fine. He was actually capitalizing on the jungle. Warwick, he's having a hard time. But he got his red. And that's really all that matters at the end of the day. We got Rengar here. He flashes in. Darius pulls the clutch Q out. Heals off of it. Double tower tank there. Gets the pick on to Rengar. Brother, I, I don't need you to die of this. Okay, right, you're good. Warwick does manage to back off. Balling. What do we have happening down here? Actually hold the phone. Is this... I don't know what's... Like, probably Ari ulting down here and then E and it catches her. Does he even use her ulti? Okay. Wow, that kind of sucks. That's unfortunate. Um, I think maybe like I, I do it sometimes. You don't quite keep track of the minions, and then you think it's your own minion, but it's actually not. It's the enemy, and it just goes straight through. It, it happens, right? Mistakes are made, but it's not like the end of the world. That was super close. If she like just predicted that a little bit further forward, 
I don't think it would have been a pick, but it would have put the fear of God in them. And that's really like... I mean, bot lane, half of it is just sending a message, <laughs> I feel. Like, bot lane, at least in War Evil, where I reside, it's all about, like, sending a message to the enemy team. You don't push me around. I push you, okay? I am the dude who... I am the man who knocks. I am the one who knocks on your door, sir. And I say, hello, can I come in and take a kill? Thank you. Um, right, we've got some posturing topside. Dude, he didn't, even, he didn't even hesitate on that one. The man didn't even, like, see what was about to happen. Straight up goes for flash into WQ. Boom, Ollie! He hits his full combo out in about a fifth of a second. And apparently, <laughs> it works like a charm. What level is the Argos? Is he six? I can't see until he comes back to life, to be honest. But I would I would like to think he is. Lux, whiffing infinite wide. Doesn't really matter, though. Potential. Whiffs that wide as well. Warwick flashing. It, the exhaust goes down. They managed to get the pick, though. Now they're dealing with Draven. Rengar comes in as well. Ari's waiting in the wing. She's coming down. White Benning does land onto the Draven here. He's hitting some bad damage on the Lux. So Rengar's hitting the bush. He leaps into the dark binding from Morgana. He's going to drop to the uh, tormented soil coming at Morgana there. Ari's forced to flash. Draven's forced to flash. We have four people in ball lane. Another landing. Um, another landing hits. Another light binding hits. Or dark binding, I should say. The light binding did not hit. If it did hit, she would be a dead. But that was actually a really decent fight for Blue Side. I didn't expect anything much really to come from that. She, he's playing with fire on that one. Oh my god. If he was six, if he maybe just waited a little bit, maybe they would have got greedy. How far off six are you? Warwick, you know what? He wasn't really that close to six. He was like, he's like halfway, maybe like just under two thirds. Yo! Yo! The static chef Darius. Hit him with it. Hit him with a little ghetto gospel. W him. Will you W him for God's sakes? I'm here waiting. Man's really not gonna... He's gonna use his W on the minions. He's not even gonna hit it with a W on... Like, that's like... Crit Darius, that's like the whole appeal. You all attack in a W for like the potential crit reset with the extra AD on top of the W. Then you have the soul. Makes for easier Qs. What is going on? Alright, charm down onto Warwick though. He infinite duresses at the end. A, a last ditch effort. I understand it. A last ditch effort, but it was not to save him. We got Darius wheeling in. That was very close. It actually didn't hit anybody. It thre she threaded the needle on the two of them there with the uh, the charm. I think they're just gonna back up, dude. Dude, this is gonna be a good. Uh, Darius is going crit, man. I'm all. I'm on board. <laughs> I'm on board for this one. I. I have never really seen Crit Darius apart from in my own videos. And I I love any excuse to feature Crit Darius in any capacity I can. Uh, any excuse. Oh, what? Darius got 3 AD buffed onto him? Crit Darius time. Crit Darius now stronger than ever. 1,000 AD one shots, buddy. That's what it is. Um, am I saying that I paid an Iron like 3 player to play Crit Darius? Get your tinfoil hats on, boys, because we were in for a conspiracy theory. Right. Nevertheless, my paid actor is now 2v1ing. He hasn't got much mana, though. The Essence Reaver is a, a nice maneuver that I like to pull off because it means that you don't run out of mana as fast. You can maintain a little bit of mana there. The attack speed suffers, granted, but that's going to be a nice little shutdown. Um, onto the Darius, which is very pog. A very pog. I mean, I don't want any team in particular to lose. Or win, for that matter. But I do think the like, you know, getting the shutdown, evening out the gold differential, or what have you, or getting some gold onto the enemy leaders, makes for a more interesting game in a lot of regards. Like, if, like, you know, the, the dude's like 1-4, in four, he's getting a little bit stomped. Actually, he's up in CS, so I take it back. <laughs> but, um, you know, he's getting like a little bit thrown around, a little bit ra kind of ragdolled, like a Gary's mod character or something. Debo is kind of playing... Maybe more aggressive than he has any right to be doing. He almost got it. Rengar always comes down. That's an easy, easy, easy peasy pick. But that's going to be a trade one for one. Because Timo did not anticipate the the, the, the might of the Warwick who misses ulti straight past him. Shoots it wide. And then all attacks him once or twice and lets the tower finish it off. <laughs> right, now Rengar is coming in behind the tower. Please don't. I beg you not. I beg you don't do what I think you're planning on doing. Because I actually think that Warwick wins this. 
Provided he doesn't continue chasing, he's in a good position to like, you know, okay, let them come to you. Let, let them come to you. You're like a Venus flytrap. Have your, your honey do, your honeysuckle lined velveteen trap set. Let them come in. They wish to sip the morning dew. They must enter my abode. That's what you do. That's what you do work. I mean, I swear, like, at this at this elo, and, and even in my elo, if you wait long enough and you play safe enough, people will outplay themselves. Like, I always see it. It's, like, a thing that I, like, to, I, I actually, I feel like I'm a genius. It's like I'm, a, like, a, like, I'm Aristotle. Was he an astronomer or was he a philosopher? I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, Socrates. Not this one, but the actual Socrates. Like, I'm a philosopher. Because I always say, sometimes, I think I don't win lane. Um... Uh, the enemy just lost it. <laughs> like, sometimes you don't really have to do anything. The enemy just loses the lane for themselves, right? They they win it for you. It's like having a sixth teammate, which is fantastic. Sometimes it just is what it is. And particularly when people undervalue, a lot of the time, the damage and the, the real carry potential of an inanimate object such as the tower, it's very, very easy to make stuff work like that. Now, Decent pick from Rengar. I don't think he's getting out. He flashes back towards Tribush, actually. We got Warwick flashing out as well, though. He has got Ulti. Ulti's under the tower. Gets the Q down. Big shutdown for Warwick. Good job. Meanwhile, we have Blue Side pushing up the river here, trying to get onto the uh, Ari as well. They're not going to be able to do it. Urkot's pushing his way downtown. Walking fast. Crab legs dash, and he's homebound. Um, Wiles Blue... Brother... He stole it. He stole Ocean Dragon with Draven Ulti. <laughs> That's got a sting, man. Everything was like coming up blue side there. Everything was coming up blue side. Now they lost a tower because Argot just bopped it. Now and then they've lost Dragon. That's bad stuff. That's bad news bears right there. Right. There was a kill on bot side and it was Timo. I, I, I want about five reflashes. Okay, <laughs> that was in the middle of the sentence and it just happened, right? We saw that coming, right? Doesn't take a genius. Doesn't take, like, LS. A, a, a high-level intellectual analysis and analytical mind to, to figure out what, what's about to happen to that poor sod. But uh, at least they're training, they're training towers. All right, Warwick. What are we gonna, what are we going to send today? This man is caught up at an unbelievable pace. The man went from laning bot level one hitting like a four minute level two possibly five minute level two to uh being six and four with a bounty and he's doing god he's doing fine really he's getting bait on a mushroom so maybe be a little bit careful here he's got two members of his team backing him up though coming up the river the thing is timo isn't quite in range to get that um that sniffy sniffy ability where he like runs fast when they're under 50 percent hp but if he just backs up he should be good. I gotta say, he's kind of botched this actually. He's overstayed to a, an amazing degree. He's overstayed like I've never seen before. Oh dear God. Look at the health on our gun, man. He is a tanky, tanky boy. He's still trying to kill the team. What's wrong with you, man? I don't see why he's hurt got all in. Don't do that. It's a waste. Um, Yeah, we got to pick onto Rengar on mid lane. Let's just quickly check that out before we push forward with this uh, expedition. <laughs> what does Rengar try and do? Nice light binding. That's what I like to see, dude. Do you see the that 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 dink? Woo! Storm Razor Static Chef Darius. Ho oh, ho my favorite. Wait, wait for it. Boom! Boy! Look at that. A beauty. I feel like at that point you don't really need the ultimate, but like you get the extra AD off the reset, so like I mean he's doing 500 damage with those crits on the minions and stuff now. He should be able to take that tower. He's still got the, uh... He's still got the passive damage off of it. Is that what it is? I can't remember. I pr Wait. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, yeah, he gets 85 bonus attack damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's what it is. Very good stuff. That's the two towers. Very easy. Very nice. Very smooth. Timo, once again, playing with fire. Has absolutely no right. Has Ari got ultimate? She does have ultimate, to be fair. We got Final Spark coming out. 
the bainting lands onto the Ari. I don't, I mean, I, I feel like there's been a lot of opportunities for her to ulti, for instance, like possibly right now. It's very clear your Rengar is going in for it. He manages to get it without any, like, any recourse from Blue Side here. They just let them have him. They, they threw Lux to the slaughter. Hold on, though. Wasn't to be. I like how Draven DCs for like five minutes, comes back, and immediately he's just like, I'm gonna Ollie. <laughs> I'm gonna Ollie. That's just what's gonna happen here. <laughs> this is a little bit late for an ARAM by iron standards, but at the same time, better late than never. Now, Ari, you wanna not be playing with fire. Why are you going near him? Do you know who that his dad works for Microsoft? Rengar, you're an idiot. You're coming right in on that. But oh my giddy aunt, brother. He just got demolished. That being said. What is going on? That's actually a decent ollie from Organa there. She cleanses the bind once again from the Teemo for whatever reason. We still get a pick there. The uh, the the Ari picks up the Morgana on the way out. There was so much potential there. And it makes me sad that it didn't quite come to pass. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. The dragon is now up, by the way. Um, but Darius is doing... Boy, he's doing damage, dude. I love it. I'm here for it. He's 6-2. and two. And... I'll be honest with you, ain't nobody building armor in this game. That's all I'm saying. Like, I just don't think it's going to happen. Maybe, maybe Argot, but like, I mean, he went, for, you know, he's going for like Frozen Mallet, Black Cleaver. He's just going health, right? That works for Darius. Maybe not for like killing him, but for doing big damage. Now, uh, a little bit late on the uptake there, but a good effort, a valiant effort from Warwick. Please don't try and make this more than it is. Oh, she hits it. She hits a final spark. Darius going in. Absolutely obliterating the Rengar as well. He's going to get dragged into the Urgot Nightmare Fuel. That being said, the Dark Bind comes out. Ignite from the uh, Lux as well. Are we going to leave it there? Are we going to leave it there? Are we going to keep sending for more? Do we wish to be sated? Are you not entertained? Do we need more? Guess you're just going to back off. That's, that's, that's what they're going to do. So Warwick has rushed Sunfire Cape, but Darius has gone Storm Razor Static Shiv. I rate the Darius. I don't rate the Warwick's build particularly, though. Uh, Infinity Edge, Misfortune, first item. You probably presumably want to go for, like, an Essence Reaver, right? That's kind of what it is. Uh, Morgana rushing Ardent Sensor with Morgana, with Bar Misfortune? Yeah, some Misfortune. I guess Ardent Sensor's fine. But not like first item and like your cooldown on your E is like gigantic like I don't really know if Ardent Sensor should ever be prioed over Zonya's or something else like early on Um, I mean Luden's Morello I can see the thought process behind it I don't know if I'd go for it but like I can 100% see why like there's a considerable amount of healing like off these two and then I guess like no, I, I I don't know. Yeah, two of them so far. That's pretty much it. Draven, he's just building anything that builds into a BF sword, really. Um, Timo has gone Leandri's first time. That's kind of fine to be honest, like with Timo. Whoa, the lethality Rengar does like no damage to that dude. He's gonna die a red buff burn though. But I am incredibly surprised that that Rengar all in did basically no damage. If he just turned and queued, I'm pretty sure he just could have like walked out, right? He just turned and went. Oh. Oh. We're we're dangerously, suspiciously close to having a Baron, a Baron happen. Baron call comes out, right? There is granted no vision from Blue Side here, and I'm wondering is this gonna be free? They're so close. Please peek it. Please, there's still time. They know now. Morgana hits a binding onto Ari. It does. It's not gonna work though. It's not gonna change anything. Red side get Baron. Two of them are backing out though. One of them are backing out. There's a no. Never mind. There's no possibility. I was gonna say uh, if it's a two v three, uh, or sorry, a five v three. Once some of them back out because they want to maintain the Baron enhancement, just send it, but just send it. <laughs> like at that point, what have you got to lose? Like, okay, we've started dragging. The blue side have started it. They have no vision. That being said, Red say don't really have any vision either. Draven is going to go check. Oh, what are you doing? You cancelled your bullet time. Oh, what are you doing? You're walking. Oh, you got it. Okay. No, stop. We'll face check the bushes, please, Miss Fortune. I'm losing my mind. 
I'm, I'm having a hard time. Please. Nice. Boom. She's dead. What the immediate flash out from Lux. She gets the E down, the Q down, the O down, and then it disappears like a shadow in the night. She's gone. She's not waiting around. The Argali barely misses the misfortune, almost gets the pick on her. It's not going to hit though. Binding, easy hit, comes out. Another binding. Uh, do you enjoy being CC'd for four seconds, partner? Half health, not a problem. Are you paying too much for your CC? Four seconds for the low, low cost of $39.95 per month. She has all up again. She never misses it. Just like the uh, the Zera from last episode. Boom. Noxie and Guillotine comes down as well. He's picked up the Essence Reaver. He's sitting on a fat stack of AD that amounts to 262. And that's um that's actually is that when he has his um is that when he has his ulti his ulti thing up? Is that gonna drop? Wait, hold on, what are we saying? One second. No. So he actually gets like 85 more, so it's probably like 340-ish. 350 something. And when he actually hits his ulti, he gets 85. 130 actually he gets! <laughs> right, I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Um Warwick sent under Terry. He's gonna be forced to flash out there with the uh, the not the uh, the, the Urgot charging him under. He's still going for it, dude. Oh, he comes down. There you go. He's gone. What? Mistakes were made. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. Mistakes were made. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? I don't know about this. We already have the Morel and Omicron. I'll be honest. I can think of like ten different items that would be better third pick on Argot, then a mortal reminder. Red side gets another Baron call. You'd think after the first time that they would ward it. Doesn't appear to be the way that that's happening. Still, binding comes down, or the uh, the ultimate comes down. Misses. Smites her. Lux gets picked. Morgana gets picked. Ari gets picked. Argot as well. And red side take Baron for the second time. Very unfortunate. However, Cloud Dragon it's probably going to go a blue side here, which is decent. I'd say. I, as I say, this is the this is the dragon that I think that blue side really, really want to try and make happen as much as they possibly can. Um, I think that might have been a misclick from misfortune healing there. Um, happens to the best of us. Am I going to sit here and make fun of that? Oh, okay. You know what? Doesn't matter. Look at this, dude. Look at this, dude. I mean, you know what? Miss Fortune's doing okay. She's only died three times. For like an iron ADC with a Rengar on the enemy team, with an Argon on the enemy team, an Assassin, and a, and a Draven, a team. Like, you know, I'm going to give credit to this Miss Fortune. She's holding it down. Morgana's picked up those Onyas. Barely than never, realistically. She's on drive. She's fine, though. It's, it's, re it's reasonable. I'm still not sure about the Ardent Sensor. That being said, I don't play a lot of Morgana, so I honestly couldn't tell you if it was stupid or not. Just in my heart of hearts, I just know that War Warby's going to miss another uh, another little wall either. But it didn't matter because Crit Darius was waiting on the other side of that wall to give him the big boom. Boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not. Here comes the boys from the south. Boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not. How you like me now? Flashing. Oh, Ian, Noxie, and Gating drops him like a sack of big, ugly crap potatoes, dude. That's going to be a nice little push on bots in here. They've already taken tier two. If you can crack open Inhib and keep that momentum pushing, rocking and rolling, you could very easily take two, two or more. That being said, if you're if you're playing Misfortune and you know there's a Rengar who's got you on the top of his doo-doo list, don't farm lanes So. Um, that being said, Miss Fortune is dying for the cause here, for sure. She is dying in the name of Rengar being a potato and for some reason hunting her down like he's, uh, Liam Neeson from the movie Taken. Like he's, like he's Keanu Reeves in John Wick. Like, why is, why is Baba Yaga running this man, this poor Miss Fortune down? She's, like, you just got two inhibs lost <laughs> off the back of, like, hey, I'm going to kill the misfortune. It'll be pretty funny. <laughs> Let's pat out the KDE. <laughs> but, like, any time, but you wouldn't do that to Darius, huh? You ain't got the nuts for that one. You wouldn't you wouldn't square up with a Darius, dude. I guarantee it. I guarantee you don't square up 
Look at him. He's squaring up on the misfortune. Ah, but he takes the fattest L of his life there. He was. Oh, you're not so big when you're when you're two v one, brother. Not so big now, huh? Okay. I don't know why I'm going in on this Rengar. He's literally just playing his champion, right? This is like what he does. Like, and you know, he's not gonna do it to the Mor Morgana. She's just gonna Zonyas. The Lux. It's probably fine until she gets Zonyas. I don't know why he's not doing it to the Lux. She's worth far more gold than the, the Misfortune is. And then Warwick doesn't do any damage to him. Darius will one bang him on site. Can can pull him out of his jump and then just bang him out in midair. Do they have any vision? They don't have any vision yet. They do now. They think it's all over. Are they reacting to it? Ghost comes out of Darius, actually. Here we go. Bit of an early ultimate, but the Noxian Gee team was a little bit early. Doesn't really matter though. He's getting the healing off of the Q. That was gigantic damage from that W onto the team as well there. That was like an 800 damage crit. Even if he dies, he dies a hero, right, at this point. I think he thought he was gone. He stood still. He accepted his fate. Lux may, may have come in with a very clutch binding there. Very, very nice. They're all standing around him like they're applauding their king. Dude, what's going on? Right, Rengar's coming in behind here. The always goes down. Lux has wasted her binding. They have to be a little bit careful. Maybe Darius was a little bit late on the uptake there and, like, being able to stop that from happening. Misfortune is sending it though. She's doing her best. He's gonna get away scot free. Meanwhile, dude, his team, uh, he doesn't need to jungle. His team are just doing it for him. He just goes top. They all come top. He's like the puppet master. Ooh, controlling all the little puppets to attack him. Meanwhile, third cloud dragon of the game. Three big ones. Three big fat stinking dragons. One more. You're cooking with gas. Darius is gonna be a bit on for. He's going to be a little bit fast if he ulties somebody after that one. As if he's ghosting, as if he isn't already, Speed McQueen. When he, uh... Actually, I tell you what, like, he's not he's not running, like, Phage. But anything that would give him rage, is he? So, I guess he wouldn't be going super zoomy on it anyway. I say that, he's incredibly squishy. They just took a lot of damage there. So, I guess... Red side are going to take their third Baron of the game. I suppose. Oh, very, 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 very close. I don't... This Lux is not... Oh, hey, she might go! Warwick came from absolutely nowhere. Infinite Dress goes down there as well. Lux picking it up. She gets clapped by the orb on the way back from the Ari. However, Warwick is salvaging this like I've never seen a man salvage in their entire life. Bro, he knows you're there. There's a big smelly thing above your head. He couldn't see you, but he could sniff you. Yeah, I can smell you. I'm creeping around. I thought that was going to be barren. It wasn't. It was saved. Amazingly saved. Warwick, the underdog of the story. Like, literally and metaphorically. He's doing so well that he's literally floating. Wait, hold on. Is that... It looked like he was floating. It's fixed itself now. He was literally floating above the screen. Am I just seeing things? Is it? It is 3 a.m. I suppose. Infinite Dress goes down onto the Argo there. The Dark Binding doesn't land. Manages to fear them a little bit in though. We might see a mis Misfortune ulti coming out. Maybe not. Ignite does go down onto the Warwick though. So we got some resources out of that Argo. Which is fantastic. That being said. A story as old as time. The Rengar and the Misfortune. Once upon a time. A little woman named Sarah Fortune was walking through the forest when a big nasty cat came call calling at her door. Sarah said, I don't want to let you in. You're very scary and you have nunchucks and possibly a baseball bat with barbed wire wrapped around it. But the wolf said, the, the cat said, I'm kicking your door down. I'm going to break your skull. And so he did. And the moral of the story is, kids, maybe buy a stopwatch if... An Never mind, she's already bought one. Maybe, maybe just don't die, forehead. It's not that hard. Just, just don't. How about that one for you? There we go. That's like Aesop's fables. League of Legends fables for kids. Lessons. I'll tell you what, man. As far as YouTuber books go, it probably wouldn't be the worst. If I, if I unironically transposed Aesop's common library of fables into League of Legends puns and jokes... Would it be better than PewDiePie's book? One of one of his books? I don't know how many he has. 
or uh, would it be better than Zoella's book that she didn't even write? At least I wrote mine. Okay, buddy. This is my biography. By this is my autobiography about my life and my struggles, written by Karen for marketing, who likes to write erotic cowboy fan fiction on the side. <laughs> she knows a thing or two about writing prose. So let me tell you that much. <laughs> The game! The game! Listen, at this point, right, nobody's watching this video. Nobody is going to timestamp this in the YouTube comments section and be like, why is Ross talking about erotic cowboy fanfiction at 40, 41 minutes, 30 seconds in the video? Nobody. Not a single person. I guarantee it. I'm willing to put money on it. Maybe people that have, like, skipped through it to see what's happening and then accidentally clicked on it. Yeah, sure, you guys are going to see it. What's up? Watch the rest of the video, why don't you? Maybe people that have fallen asleep. And in that case, I'm sorry, because you've possibly woken up two or two, three times during the course of this video. Maybe, maybe, maybe those people. The people that are asleep. But then, I don't I don't know how often I really call attention to the fact that people fall asleep to my videos. I know you're doing it, right? I know you watch me on the toilet when you're falling asleep. When you're playing RuneScape. When you're playing League of Legends, Soul Queue in the background. You know what I mean? I'm here to fill the silence. But, um... You definitely could pick better material for falling asleep to, I gotta say, because I, I can I can get a little bit loud. I've considered actually, because like I, I I understand that like my um my main account, like Ross Boomstocks, he's actually still gold and I really don't wanna be gold. I'd rather be hard to plat for like the fifth time this year. Fifth time like fifth year in a row. And uh, I'm sitting here like, man, maybe I could do like something on the second channel where it's just like chill games to fall asleep to. But this is probably not the one. This is a main channel one, right? So, <laughs> so it's going to be bad. Uh, anyway, um, red side one, I'm very angry. I didn't quite get to see the, the hard carry potential. Like, I don't... What are you doing? You're going to you're gonna run 20, 25 and 3 quarter miles of the marathon and then you're going to get a taxi at the end? What are you, dude? Get a Trinity Force, you coward. God sake, what is this? What do you what do you call this Sterex gauge on a on a on a Darius dude? Um Yeah, I'll be honest with you, a lot of these builds are very confusing. A Bissell Adaptive Helm? I, I have no idea. Um uh, like Lux, she just like her combo. But like it's four seconds. Like, I guess you're stopping her E, kind of. But realistically, like Lux is not inherently a champion that you buy an adaptive helm for. You buy that for like a Cassiopeia or something, right? Um, she didn't buy an, an, an essence tree for at any point in this game, which is confusing. It's a really good item. I really like it. I don't know if it's still metal and misfortune, but yeah. Um, beyond that, everything fairly normal. I mean, I. I Draven's build was normal. Uh, Timo's build was, yeah, Timo build, I suppose. That's about as far as you can really get with that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did get this far and you actually got to the end, please tell me what your favorite erotic fanfiction of Cowboys is. Mine is, I don't know. Um, have a fantastic day though. It's 3 a.m. I'm gonna head home. And uh, I'm gonna go see Charlie. I'm gonna go wait Maisie up and go see Charlie. Please subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> Phil, uh, not Phil time. Iron Spectates and like the video for this incredibly long one. I hope you had a good time though. Have a fantastic day, morning, night, whatever. See you later.